Hey friends, welcome back. So I thought that this would be a super funny video to tell you guys 10 random weird facts about me. So it's so funny because sometimes I'll read a comment and I'm like, oh, I can relate to that. Or sometimes I'm like, I wonder if I'm the only person that is this weird. Um, definitely my husband thinks that I am. <laughs> So anywho, I thought I would share it with you guys. So I'm gonna give you 10 weird facts about me, all right? And in the comments, if you are having any of these things like I have, definitely let me know. But it's okay, we can just make fun of me. It is okay, I thought it would be super funny to just let you know a little bit about me. So number one is, no matter what store I go to, Walmart, Kroger's, wherever I go, I park in the same parking spot, the same aisle. When I'm at Walmart, I have to park on the grocery side. I cannot park on the side with the lawn equipment and all of that stuff. I have to park on, well, what do they call that? General merchandise? No. I have to park on the grocery side. And let me tell you, when I go with my husband, I literally like start getting an anxiety and a panic attack and I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, what do you mean? He goes a different way and it drives me nuts. It drives me insane. So I have to park in the same aisle every single store. I don't care where I go. Same parking spot, even at the mall. Now it may not be the same spot, but it has to be the exact same aisle or I will just literally like freak out. And in the car, if he does not do it, I'm literally like, he's like, it's okay, it's okay, we're gonna find the car, it's okay, and I'm like, no, it's not okay. I am not okay if we don't park down the same aisle. Weird fact, number one. I know it's crazy, but I'm weird like that. All right, number two, I think this one is funny. It is just personally me. When I go to a public restroom, which is normally only at my job, when I have to go to the bathroom, I don't, touch the tissue that is there I rip it off and I use the next piece because I don't know who touched it before me I know it's weird but that is just something that I do you know how or if you go to a restaurant and you gotta go pee and the toilet paper is hanging and somebody just used it um, I rip it off and I throw it down in the trash and then I get a new piece because again I don't know who touched it before me. I'm weird like that. Number three, same thing in the restroom, but this time it's with the paper towels. Really, this is like a big one for my job and at restaurants. Um, some restaurants have it where you push the thing and it blows and it makes you dry your hands that way. Well, again, after I wash my hands, I do not take the piece of paper that is there first. I take that one, I throw it down, and I get the fresh one that nobody's touched and then I dry my hands. I know it's weird, it's crazy, but I'm weird like that. <laughs> okay guys, number four, I am extremely superstitious. I grew up in the country and my entire family is superstitious. Um, when I am out with my kids, if there is a pole or a trash can, like a big trash can that separates us or a pole or anything, especially Ava, she's like, Daddy, you know you have to go this way. Like everybody knows that I am extremely superstitious and I cannot split the poles. Same thing with black cats. If there is a black cat coming, I definitely go the opposite direction because that's just what us crazy superstitious people do. So that is gonna be weird thing number four about me. I am extremely superstitious. So weird thing number five is I do not try new foods at restaurants. Whenever I go to a restaurant, I get the same thing every single time. If I'm going to Chili's, I'm getting the chick chicken crispers with the fries. If I'm going to Texas Roadhouse, I'm getting the steak, medium mashed potatoes and um, a salad. If I'm going to, where else do I go? Where else do I go? Seafood restaurant, Papa Seafood, I'm going to get fried shrimp. I get the same exact thing every restaurant where I go to. Hubby, on the other hand, he likes to try new things. Sometimes he's disappointed and I will tell him, maybe you should stick with what you're used to getting and you know how it's going to taste. But not me. 
I get the same thing every single time. I'm not trying nothing new because when I'm going out to eat, I'm spending my money and I don't want them to remake anything. So I don't try new things at restaurants. I get the same thing. I'm that boring when it comes to new foods. I will try new things at home, but when I'm going out to a restaurant, same thing, every single restaurant. I don't care where it's at. I'm eating the same thing. All right, so weird fact number six is I don't chew gum. I'm not a gum chewer, which is really funny. Um, I just don't really like it. If I have eaten something that's like really, I don't know, if I eat a burger and it has onions, Hubby always has gum. He's a huge gum chewer. I will like take a piece just to like get the taste out of my mouth, but I spit it out. Not a gum chewer. I just don't chew gum. All right, number seven is going to be, I've mentioned this so many times before, I absolutely hate water. I dislike it. I don't like to drink it. I will drink it if I'm forced to drink it, but I do not like drinking water. Ugh. I have a friend that's like that too. She hates water, and so we can definitely connect that way. Number eight is going to be, I don't eat cheese. I don't eat cheeseburgers, I don't eat Parmesan, I don't eat chicken Alfredo, um, I don't eat cream cheese, um, I don't eat cheesecake. Now, hubby does, like sometimes I'll just like taste it, but I don't eat cheese. And neither does he, like when it comes to cheeseburgers or anything like that, he doesn't eat cheese either and that's why we knew another thing, that we were a perfect match because neither one of us eat cheese. There's no string cheese. Now we do eat pizza, but it's like, I guess it's a different kind of cheese. I don't eat pizza from everywhere. It's either um, Little Caesars, which you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know, every Saturday I go get a $5 hot and ready or Chuck E. Cheese, my absolute hands down favorite pizza, or there is a local place where I live and it's called RC's. If you do live in the area, I do eat RC's, absolutely love it. But other than that, I don't eat any of those fancy pizzas. I don't like Domino's, I don't like Pizza Hut, I don't care for Papa John's. No, I'm not like, I don't know, I think the cheese is different, but no cheeseburgers over here, absolutely not. Disgusting. All right, and number nine is gonna be, I have a really bad hive issue. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's called, I wrote it down, collagenaric urticaria. So what it is, it's in your blood. I've had it since I was younger. That's why I never could play sports because if you have it like I do, what it is is that we don't sweat I'm 38 years old right now. I've been having this since I was like four or five. I went to the doctor numerous of times. Nobody could tell me what it was. Um, even when I was getting older, the doctor said it was something that I would grow out of. I never grew out of it. To this day, it still happens. And so what happens is if I go in a temperature like right now, it's super like room temperature. It's kind of cool in here. Not I don't know it's not cold it's not hot it's like perfect temperature if i were to go somewhere that was extremely hot i would start itching everywhere like my entire body my face everywhere and i would start breaking out with hives and it lasts for about 30 to 40 minutes and i'll start getting whelps all over my entire body and then after a while it just kind of like goes down one moment okay so yeah so it's all over my body um, it's kind of funny now, like before when I got it in high school, Hubby was like, be like, oh my gosh, what's wrong with you? It's not contagious or anything like that. It's just something that's in your bloodstream. You're either born with it or you're not. So we just don't sweat. And instead of sweating, um, we do like break out in hives. Now I will like get like some like sweat, but the way people sweat hardcore, if they go work out or jog or anything like that, I definitely don't do that. I've never done that. Um, I just break out in hives and another thing is like if I'm put on the spot um, if I'm in a room full of people and if I'm gonna go to a baby shower or wherever it is I have to take medicine before I go because I have really bad anxiety which is going into number 10 and that is the other thing I have super bad anxiety I'm not a shy person but I have to prepare when I'm gonna go somewhere in public like I said, to a baby shower, to a party, or anything, because if I'm put on the spot, especially with people that I don't know, as far as like being in a small crowd, then again, that's when those hives are gonna come out. 
and that is the weird things about me so yeah I just thought I would do a little fun video to let you guys know 10 weird things about me I'm definitely not perfect a lot of people tell me that oh you're so perfect absolutely not not even close I do have flaws definitely not perfect whatsoever um, and I am weird and I have to park in the same parking spot every single time I go to Walmart or I freak out. <laughs> so that is it guys. If you guys have anything weird about you, definitely let me know. Let me know that I'm not the only one or just let me know that yes, you are weird. You're crazy. I've never heard of this before. So that's all friends. Thank you so much for watching. I love you too many back and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!